Danny, what's it been like for you boys off the field, kind of bouncing back from what was a disappointing end to that last game? Yeah, it's been uh, obviously a bit disappointed that we we didn't we weren't able to get the three points, but we also know that there's a lot more games that we're going to be able to compete at our best. So um, it's uh, it's been going well at training, and we're looking forward to this next game at El Paso versus El Paso. Dani, ¿qué pasó contra San Antonio en esos últimos minutos del partido? Sí, creo que contra San Antonio, uh, bueno, desafortunadamente, uh, tener un jugador menos, como en los primeros 15 minutos, no es bueno, pero creo que el equipo hizo bien en mantenerse en, como equipo y buscar el resultado. Desafortunadamente, los últimos 10 minutos no pudimos uh, terminar el partido y así pasa, pero creo que la mentalidad del equipo es seguir aprendiendo y, como te digo, vamos a seguir al siguiente partido y buscar el triunfo. We've seen you connect with Panos pretty quickly. What's gone into making that such an easy fit? Yeah, I think uh, me and Panos have a great relationship outside of the field. And obviously, we both uh, see the game in a very similar style. So whenever we're in the game uh, playing versus any team, we know and we talk about the plays we want to make. And we've showed it in the field. It's been a pretty cool experience so far. And then, of course, another new signing. Uh, up in the, the forward line there in, in Darius Formella. How well have you settled in with him? Yeah, Darius Formella is a great player, you know, obviously coming from a new team, uh, it's a little adjustment process, but he's done very well. And uh, for me, being able to uh, have another player as an offensive player that I could connect with is always a great opportunity for me, and um, I'm trying to get it going. Yeah, Dani, tienes 10 goles esta temporada. ¿Cómo te sientes tú en el campo, físicamente, mentalmente? Obviamente los resultados no están al favor del equipo, pero como en, en tu parte 10 goles casi igual a esa mano con 11, ¿cómo te sientes tú? Claro, sí, como delantero mi trabajo es anotar gol, ¿verdad? Pero creo que he podido anotar porque los jugadores que tengo alrededor de mí me están ayudando y obviamente uh, el trabajo sigue. Yo creo que es un proceso de 34 juegos antes de ir a playoffs y tenemos que seguir adelante todo, todo el tiempo, mirar partido en partido y Cuando estemos en los últimos partidos, vamos a ver en qué tabla, en qué lugar en la tabla vamos. Si el, el, la meta es meternos a playoffs y a ganar. It's five and six for you in terms of goals. Has that happened because of any shift in your game, or is it just opportunities are happening for you right now? No, yeah, I think it's definitely been a, a learning process for me, you know, and also getting adjusted to my teammates. You know, I play different roles in this team. I could play out wide in the ten as a nine. But I think for me is knowing that my game is going to put me in situations where I'm going to be 1v1 versus goalkeeper. So I want to make sure anytime I'm in that situation, I put the goal away. And uh, it's a lot of training. It's a lot of uh, dedication. And I think uh, I'm proud of myself and I just got to keep going. You mentioned it there. No matter where you seem to play, you always seem to end up in the same type of spots. Is there one specific position of the 10, the 7, the 11, the 9 where you prefer to play that gets you in that area most often? I think, uh, yeah, definitely. I think a lot of times I'm, I'm more free and my game uh, fits me more when I'm uh, playing, running at players or getting in behind the back line, which is what I like. But I think also it helps me expand my game, you know, so anywhere that the coach needs me um, and we're able to get results, I'm going to try my best and hopefully, you know, hopefully get the result. What are the biggest things you think you've learned playing under Juan this year? Juan has been very great for me. Very, uh, he's helped me a lot. You know, obviously as an offensive player, there's always a lot of, a lot of roles, a lot of things you got to learn. And I like what I like about him. He's always giving me little tips, you know, about where I could make my run or how I could check into the ball. So for me, I've learned a lot under him. And you know, I'm not going to be happy until we keep, we keep bringing the wins in. And and you know, that obviously what makes all of us happy.